Welcome back, you beautiful fuck. It's me, Danny. And after a short recovery period, my voice is back to its cracking usual self. Which I'll gladly take over what I had to go through last week. So, I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. I, I need to get better at posting on social media or my Instagram, which is in the bottom in the description if you want to reach out to me. Um, I don't really post on there, but it's a good way to reach me if you want. Or I need to get better at posting here on the community tab. I just get busy and tend to forget. But Happy New Year. Hope your holidays went well or are going well, whatever. Um, if you still have more holidays to celebrate. Anyway, you just saw there, I picked up the newest Justice League comic books, the versus Godzilla vs. Kong. So I haven't read them yet, so looking forward to that. Anyway, though, we're moving on to an unboxing of two figures I've been waiting for for a little bit now. And I'm very happy to have them. I've been hearing good things. I don't believe I watched any reviews, though. I kind of want to kind of wanted to just go in there myself and just you know diddle around and make my own opinions which is new for me just kidding i tend to do that a lot i'm gonna sip this water make sure my don't make sure i can sing later i don't want to lose my voice again Ooh, cold water really nice Anyway, if you look at the stickers, you can probably tell what it is. These are the Super 7 Wave 3? 4? I forget. The newest wave of Super 7 figures from Super 7 that I ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. That I'm opening with a sharp knife. So, first one you can see right there. You're about to see it when I get out of the box. Um, it's Godzilla, obviously. Shocker. Uh, yeah. It's not Mario, it's not Master Chief, it's the G-Man himself, the 1200 degrees Celsius Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroyer 1995, and I totally knew the date of that movie off the top of my head, and not because it was on the packaging, believe me, please. So, and right off the bat, let's look at the, let's look at the packaging right there. You see that plastic? That was pretty cool, but you know what's cooler? The rib cage that you can see protruding from the box. Well, not really protruding, but like, you know what I mean. It's there. It's visible. It's gruesome. I like it. Really, uh, stimulates the senses. And taking off the protection, which is never safe, but sometimes you just gotta go in raw, and you can see me. Oh god, I look so warped. Trust me, my forehead does not look that big. My goodness. It's not doing me any favors. Oh my good. Anyway, look at the figure. Don't don't look at my reflection or the reflection of the light, which is also known as a glare. Yeah, sorry. I'm not that professional, but I get the job done. And this figure looks very nice, but I was actually going to keep it in the box and just kind of have it on display like I do with the uh, Marvel comic version of uh, Super 7 Godzilla. But honestly, the packaging, it's pretty cool. It's nice. It has some bones on it. But after seeing some pictures online, I need to get this guy out of the box, which is not what's happening on camera right now. What is happening is I'm going to unbox or open up the other box that has the other figure that you can see. It's right there, right in front of you guys. You already know who it is. This is Super 7 Destroyer. This is the main one that I was looking for because it was the one that cost the most money. So this one, instead of being 85, this is about 110, I think. $100 maybe? I forget. Who cares? Uh, but we'll see if it's worth it. Let's take off the uh, the wrapper and the warning wrapper that says if I you know, open this, I'll get stabbed. Foreshadowing how sharp some of these points are on this guy. Uh, he has a nice box, that textured kind of uh, engraved carton, I guess. Godzilla vs. Destroyer. So that's pretty cool. I don't really know how I feel about Super 7 doing... Like, this, the little shells are nice. Like again, I'll, I look over at the Marvel comic Godzilla that I have sitting over here on my shelf. And, like, it has a cool sleeve on it. But you can't see the figure. So it's kind of like, you know, you have cool artwork, but you can't see the figure. Or you can see the figure, but you don't have that cool artwork. I wish there was more of a blend of it. I think they can combine it if they really wanted to, but... Who am I to tell Super 7 how to do their job? 
Anyway, that's Destroyer right there. If you don't know who that is, it's a very nice guy. Don't let the name confuse you. Uh, gets a thumbs up from my still unhealed hand. I need to find a way to get these, these dried up blood off my thumb that's underneath my skin without stabbing it, but I'm running out of options. Anyway, I look like I've unboxed it really quickly. I did not. I cut the camera. Okay. But that was Destroyer's head that I took off and replaced it with the roaring head. These are his two other hands. Uh, I only replaced one of them though, and you'll see that in a second. Uh, then he has these crabs. And these are the little Destroyer crabs. So this was really cool that it came with them. And they scale well. And it was a nice little addition. Ah. I was going to say it, was, it makes it worth it, but really, they're small pieces of plastic. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to chill. Okay, but they are cool. I do like having them displayed because I do have those little guys displayed next to him. Let me take a sip of this water again. Ugh. There's the big guy. There he is. I think, yeah, you had to attach the, uh, the wings on him, which were pretty easy for the most part. Uh, but I have the roaring head. And sweet Jesus, make sure you have those ball points because put it on that head. That horn, it'll stab right through you. I'm using that other, that, that his spare head that I had. It's in my nightstand. It's going to be a weapon in case someone breaks in so I can just stab them. Because sweet Jesus, it's sharp. It's not for kids. Don't let your five-year-old play with it. It'll, it'll be in the ER for the rest of the night. But look at this. Super 7. I had my doubts about you in the beginning, and uh, might I say, I still have, no, I'm kidding. This figure looks amazing. They're definitely improving, and I'm very happy with this, even for the higher price point. I think something that really makes me happy about this is just having a, a large destroyer figure, because as someone who primarily collects, you know, like the cheaper, the Bandai's, the Playmates, and so on. Um, aside from SH Monster Arts, because you know how I feel about them. Uh, I, Destroyer figures that scale well and look good are very rare. I, my favorite one is probably the uh, original Bandai America Destroyer that was about like seven inches tall, I think, or six and a half. And that scaled well and that looked pretty good. Uh, but this one right here, it's, it's big, it's tall, it, it, the colors are great. It has that Super 7 gloss, but I'm getting used to it and it doesn't look that bad on this guy. Um, so I'm just really pleased with it and definitely probably my favorite destroyer figure. It looks fantastic on the shelf too. And it comes with little crabs. So that, I, you know, it makes it worth it. it. The crabs do make it worth it. Okay. So if you want to wait, maybe they'll go on sale because I know occasionally Super 7 does sales. I don't know how often though. So maybe you'll catch one on the good sale price. But I'm very happy with my money spent. And uh, we're going to adjust the camera here and take a look at Melty Boy. Uh, also known as Godzilla 1200 degrees Celsius. Uh, do the math or transition to Fahrenheit. I'm not going to do that for you because I can't. But this guy is gruesome. And it's fantastic. And he has translucent parts on him. Um, which will look great if you have a light-up display. The orange, the black, like the bones. This is awesome. Again, Super 7. You're redeeming yourself. I mean, you already kind of did the burning Godzilla. It was pretty cool. Uh, then the Mecha Godzilla was great. I, I still love that figure. Uh, but these two right here, these are these are special. This is something unique. This is I I love seeing a company kind of you know when they get the Godzilla license, they do something special with it because I feel like a lot of companies they just play it safe and make figures that have already been made like a hundred times or should I should say like suits and monsters and kaiju that have already been made a thousand times uh, and super seven kind of did a little bit of that as well um, but now you're seeing that they're doing this like this is unique this I don't think has been done before and if even if it has like this right here look at that skull like he's just he, you see him melting like it's just so oh, it's just great very great figure. I uh, highly recommend it. Um, just look at that detail. Look at the just the horror. Like even his dorsal plates, as you saw earlier, like they're melting. Um, and because of an additional head, 
Now, I didn't put this on because I do like the melting face. And I did what some other people have done where he's holding that skull right there. It's just kind of cool. You don't have to do that. You can put that head on or just not. But I, I, it's just amazing. I'm very happy with these two figures. Uh, money well spent. Worth the wait. So thank you, Super 7. You're moving on up. And like it's crazy because I remember when they announced... Uh, I think that I'm pretty sure the next figures are going to be Mogira and Space Godzilla. And I remember when they announced that, I was kind of annoyed at that point with Super 7 because one, the qu figures that were out at the time I wasn't too happy with. And they, they have a, they had a tradition of just announcing all these figures without even releasing them yet. It was like taking a while. But now the figures are getting out and they're kind of getting over the hump. Like, and now I'm excited for Space Godzilla and Mogira. I think those are going to be awesome. Um, minus one as well that figure is going to be great i cannot wait for that one and but for now what we have here uh super seven you're winning me over i'm very happy uh that's why i am going to reward you the uh thumb up the thumbs up reward from yours truly there's no certificate there's no medal and uh there's actually no ceremony either you just get a thumbs up which was shown on screen a couple seconds ago so good job oh wait there's two more right there look at that me being generous don't spend it all in one place though anyway guys both these figures are great you heard me say it a thousand times in this video i love them uh super seven bless you if super seven was a person i would take them out to dinner but i don't have that kind of money because i just bought two figures anyway guys that's it for today's video tomorrow is more pacific rim and stay tuned for that if you love pacific rim we're going to talk about some more McFarlane and Diamond Select. And uh, that'll be it for today, though. So don't forget to hit me up on Instagram if you want to talk. Comment, like, do whatever you please. Subscribe if you'd like. I don't really ask for that, but maybe I should start. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you all take care, and I'll see you all next time.